thing is the review and approval of the December 12th minutes, which you should have gotten by email. Does anybody have any changes, additions, or deletions there, too? I did not see any. What? I did not see any. No, not that I did not see those. I did not see any changes. There are no changes. This I know. Is a I thought that's the one you sent me. Come on. Additions, corrections, or deletions to the minutes that anyone wants to make? Not me. Okay. I will motion that we... Oh, yes. Give me the wrong one. Changes, additions, deletions. Move the base up to the Those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carried. Okay. Are there any new invoices or purchase orders that we must deal with?
Oh, yes, our friends at Eversource. So these are two new invoices that came in. December 18th. I didn't see these this morning. No. Yeah, they were just there this afternoon. I was, had to process some other checks, so I figured I might as well do that while I was there. I need to talk to you. That's actually not a bad price for, you know, if, if you look at like 100 to 200, that's about right. Okay. If I take a profit to these things, the ones that get cut off, will I get a Yeah, do you know approximately what time you would be going there just so I I'm not yeah. trying to pin you down to anything, I just don't know how early I can get there to be able to get coffee for you. Yeah. Well, if you just leave them in the uh, okay, slider, he can make his own copies. Yeah. Okay. He's all there. I'll just give them to you guys to take there. And That's right. Yeah. Okay. Just leave them there someplace. <laughs> okay, I take that with me tonight and drop it off and make coffee tomorrow. tomorrow. That, that's fine, or I can send them with them and they will have them there for you. Ooh, I just think we're going to there tonight. Better you take it home and be delivered. Whatever people are comfortable with. Okay. Listen, man, I just want to try. It's a big electric company. It's a little bit of a big job. There's only four. There's only four. Yeah, well, well yeah, but I'm already good. Are you okay? Can I take the check, or do you want to have the whole piece of the thing? You can have the check. I need a roll. Yeah, okay. What I need is this. Please do. Huh? I can put it on my coffee and drop this off in the morning. That's perfect. Okay, thank you. Great. Those aren't here. Those are probably not signed off. Do you have to have any web invoices? Okay. Yes. Thank you. stuff we already bought. Yes. Can you send me an email when you get all these uh, things that I asked you for so I can pick them up? So yeah. I can get this out of the way. I think I'm all you for Christmas this month. Okay. Yeah. And that's, and you want the chat copy of the little stuff for us. With the, the stuff. That shows the invoice number, the amount, and uh, the check okay. number. Okay. It's all in Okay. And Ray, I need the copy of the credit card that's, that you did for back in October. <coughs> Paul came in at uh, Cheryl Williams. I haven't heard back from him, so. May I have that from the Citizens With, Bank? Uh, Sub, but you want the actual. I just want this. That's all I want. The stuff. That's all I need. Okay. This shows the invoice number. That's all I'm interested in. This. Right. I mean, I have that for the Citizens Bank payment that shows the line of the $28 for the Sherwin Williams. Charge on that. Is that sufficient? Yeah, but I don't know what we bought. It was paint price. It was $28. I, I assume it was, yeah. You know. Right, it doesn't well, give that level of It's piece. really a record of what we've done. That's all we're looking for. That's, you're talking it's about the proxy code you got to go, right? Yeah, yeah. call yeah. 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 Okay, well, 
that? Yeah. Okay, purchase orders and invoices have been dealt with. Review of the treasurer's report and budget data to date. And if I understand correctly, I printed this from 10 o'clock last night's transmission. This is everything, in, but not including the checks we just signed. so close to the end of the year and we know it's going to roll into the new year so we want to keep a close eye with the big red stop sign oh, yes, some of the stuff is kind of No, it's coming out of the operating, the main account. Until it's all done. Okay. Until it's all done, if you don't take anything out of there. Okay. So that's going to change percentages and then. Yes, right. Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. Yes. Actually, we'll still be getting invoices in January. That has to be included in that. So we still have at least, we'll have two, actually two more payrolls to put well, in. Well, so this. that includes the payroll this week, remember I told you oh, okay, that? Oh, okay, okay. So there will only be one more. Well, the, the, the weird one was the Yeah, yeah, the one we're going to have to accrue in and out and yeah. all that stuff that I talked about this afternoon. All right. Will we accept the treasury report and budget data to date? Second. Okay. All right. We apparently have now received the check from Primex for the brownout damage. 
it should come to $6,678.16, which is a thousand less than what we paid in invoices. So I make a motion under RSA 3195B to accept unanticipated funds. I'll second it. Agree. And I'll agree. Okay. Are there any pending purchase orders? There's a whole bunch of pending purchase orders until we get the positive negatives done and more we're doing. They're not pending. They're not actually purchase orders. <coughs> Something is going to happen. But yeah, gonna, it's, yeah. Until I get everything squared away. Okay. Nothing's happening. Okay. Now, the big question, based on what you were saying earlier, um, is Punk Alley electrical hookup going to be done before the first of the year? No, I, no, we can't spend any money right now. No, it doesn't need to be done because it is it's got in process. Okay. It carries over. All right. We're waiting for, we're expecting about three, seven thousand dollars to actually get that done. That's a credit. So we have the money in house. We can't spend any money. Well, I don't know if we're going to get a credit in dollars. Yeah, we're going to get a check. get a credit, and then we can say, okay, we want that as cash. Yeah, that's what we want as cash. And then, because we're not going to buy what we want now from E.J. Prescott. Right. And we have the same thing going on with the uh, FW Web. Right. We get cash back from them, and we want to get back. I can request cash back. And well, let's get all squared away first. We have questions on some of the things we've turned down. I'm not quite ready to discuss with you yet, but uh, well, we'll get it <coughs> For accounting purposes, if we get a credit, okay, if we get a credit, not cash, but a credit, that's as good as cash for the accounting purposes. But you can't spend it. We don't need to for accounting purposes. It's considered there. As if it were cash. I understand. Because it's convertible. So then, Clem, would that allow us to continue? No. Not until you have the actual credit memos in hand. We have the credit memos. All of them? From E.J. Prescott? Yeah. We got, we got it today. Where? Is that the one you gave me? That's the one I gave you. That's not a listing of everything we turned in and everything else. What we're doing. It is. This isn't an invoice form. Let me see. Um, I don't have an invoice. Well, no, it's a credit memo. The credit memo. That's a screen dump. That's we, we need a credit memo. I requested that, and that's what they sent me. And then there's another there's another sheet that has a line item for each individual part that was returned. <coughs> yeah, I'm going to copy for you. Okay, but that's what you wrote. Oh. I wrote on it just to uh, line it up with the proper POs. That oh, this has got an invoice number on it. And it's got a date. I do it the way we look at home and when I dump it up on the desk. Okay. <coughs> This, because it's got an invoice number, you can put it into the system as a credit. Okay. I'm talking about Oh, okay. I'm sorry, you're looking at him. Okay. Yeah, it wants to go in by itself. And then. You must have bought a lot of stuff all at once. We did. Okay. Did you return some of the stuff? Yeah, we. When we went through the process, we reused everything that we could. So these are all the parts that we were able to send back. Okay, but this was all part of one purchase. Yeah. Well, be careful. Different purchases. Different purchases. Different, different, different invoices came in with different things. Okay. I'm going to hope that what this is is what it looks like, which is a credit memo. So 
So actually, Allison, you can take this and put it in the system as a credit. And, oh, well, wait a minute. What's the We've already paid them. It's the massive Russian as well. We just right. lining that up like all with another day or something. Like that. Uh, we paid all the EJ Press, uh, all of them, right? We paid all the invoices to EJ Prescott. Oh, so Correct. we have no invoices to set it against. Right. No. I did recently do, I think there was an FW web that was similar where we were paying a bunch of things, but we had a credit and I was able to put it into that. Yeah, that's, you're only, right. that's the only sign this morning. So yeah. Minus and on my listing, I show negative where the different invoices that came up with. Well, if I use the right terms, it's a credit. We're going to have to ask for money back. Because I've already asked for money back. This is the credit memo. And I, I told them that the commission is going to want a check back for the funds. Right. And he said it would be mid-January uh, mid when we would receive the Well, technically, that's sufficient. That's sufficient documentation to say it's coming, so it's receivable. So under accounting mm -hmm. rules, we can use that as proof that the expense has been reduced by that amount. Okay. Then you know, that was a I got that much. Oh, okay. You can't put it in as a credit to the system because there are no invoices to put it against. So. Okay. So I won't do anything. No. But well, that's but it also be back up against invoices, though, isn't it? Huh? That's going to be back up against invoices. No, it's a separate memo. Well, ultimately, we'll get the check. What invoices. I can look for the sheet you gave me this morning. Right, I'm, so the sheet that I gave yeah. you this morning, what I did was take each line item, and I went through all our invoices, and I wrote down the PO number that corresponds with those parts. So that just so you understand where, what PO it came from, so we can deduct it from the right spot. Well, I intend to go from the list that way and mark it that we return it. Okay. You, you might want to send him it. that list again. I, I have it somewhere. Let me check it home first. I'll be down the plenty. Do you want to uh, No, you, that's, that's, that's an accounting account. document. So you put it in the file with EJ Prescott. I, I, I've, got a, I, I've got a copy on my desk. Well, I made that copy for Clem. Right, but we need one in the EJ Prescott I'll, file. I'll give that to Allison doesn't have notes all written on it. We'll give her a fresh copy. A fresh copy. That's fine. Okay, no, no, you keep it. I, you don't need it. I'm going to take your word for it. Well, I have a very detailed binder. He might want this as part of his documentation. Okay. Okay. All right. So from the accounting standpoint, then we can agree that that's sufficient as cash. I know this club and I had a discussion today. We were on hold, and the discussion was we were going to be on hold until the check was in hand. We're going to have to keep track of this because actually we would technically overexpend and then receive money back, and it's usually the other way around. Um, let me think. What's the accounting rule? The accounting rule is when you know you're going to receive money, it is considered received and available. Since we know we're going to receive that much money, technically it's the same as a refund check. The check just we just gotta wait for the check to show up. Okay. So technically we have them? the refund. Do they let them? Yes. Okay. And it's what, nine hundred and seven dollars? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, with seven thousand dollars offset. Yes, I think we can do that. Okay, the health trust. We need to renew our coverage with them, and apparently this has been covered. This has been something that's been going on since two thousand seventeen, and we went back and looked at the history of it. Um, all we have to do is. I will make a motion to renew it. It's mm -hmm. the same thing that we've had for years. So moved. Second. I made the motion. You second. And you said you made the motion. Okay. You made the motion. I, he seconded. I will agree. In favor, I right? yeah. uh, Okay. Do you authorize me to sign on behalf of the commission? 
I need a motion. Yes, I'll put forward that motion. I'll second it. Okay. Thank you very much. Is this one of us to let him have a checkbook? Who? Oh. I don't know. <laughs> what? You'd be driving that fancy car he has down in Mexico. Uh, it would make it a Massachusetts. Oh. Okay, we have one other matter we have to take care of in terms of authorizations. Dume and Furlan, it's not on the agenda, Dume and Furlan wants us to sign the letter of engagement and basically says, we'll, we'll audit your books. Um, it's a standard thing. Sign here. <coughs> Uh, it's a standard thing. I've looked through it. Um, it's not to exceed ten thousand six twenty-five for the audit and four hundred twenty-five dollars for the MS five thirty-five financial report, which is critical. We generally, years and years and years ago, we did that form and we screwed it up so badly we finally turned it over to Tom Dumay to do it right. Um, and then if there's work outside of the audit or the financial report, the hourly rates apply. And it's the same thing we did last year. That's the one that we just had the report for. We had a report from that. This says, do you want us to do 2019? Mm -hmm. How else is going to go? Well, no, we have other auditors. We can oh, yes, sir. It would actually be more expensive if you switch auditors because they have to go they back, like back three or four years. I use okay. the same auditor. Yeah. You can be the first one to sign. Well, it's only one signer. I make a motion that I be authorized to sign on behalf of the commission for the engagement letter for domain for a certified public account. Second it. Okay. to go into non-public session pursuant to RSA 91A colon 3 Roman numeral 2 personnel and 91A colon 3 Roman numeral 2 C matters that would affect the reputation of a person other than the member of the board. Do I hear a second? Okay, so it is unanimous.
terminated as of the end of the January 2nd when they come back and pick up the equipment and all the remaining bottles. And that's going to be it for now. So much money to do that. So, so you know, I haven't got the invoices for the month of December yet. We might be able to send them to you so we know where we're at. And then I think it might be a charge in January for rental because it's going back so much. But that's a new fiscal charge. Yeah. But if somebody already contacted me, hey, we can go to December, but why do we have in hand? Well, that's the problem. They're getting too much water. They're paying anybody. They try to control it. So I'm getting them. That's 10 bottles at a house right now. I mean, is it post stamp? No. Okay. So I'm going to talk to Your turn. Your turn. Um, I was wondering with the acceptance of the unanticipated funds, that's on the water side, correct? And should we do the same thing? Yes, it's going to be a, the other one it's a credit offset, okay. yeah. which therefore reduces our expenses. Right on the water side, which we right. are moving okay anyway. But. Okay. You? For Pine Street, um, 65 Pine Street, uh, Bouvard. Bouvard, yes. We had an emergency water situation like yesterday. They had a pipe burst. The bank came out, yeah, the bank, bank came out to check for occupancy. No one was there, but he, he heard running water, so we had to go out and turn the water off. So right now, the water's off for 65 Pine. Is that the uh, yellow box there on? Yes. Going down the first one on the left. Mm -hmm. they, they heard water running inside? Mm -hmm. oh, Were the windows all steamed up? Okay, that that's how you tell in cold weather. The windows are all steamed up. It means there's a massive leak in there. Of course, she has, she has a lift pump for wastewater too, I believe. She does? Yeah. Oh, you're talking about the yellow one? She does. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about the yellow one? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so the one the 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 <laughs> that one, yeah, that was a nice house, though. She took it over. Let's not go there. Let's not go there. She wanted to be a social worker. Cats still around there. I see the cat all the time. No, there's a whole herd of uh, feral cats in our community. Yeah, but this one, actually, there's two yellow ones that are always there on the board. Yes, and they're up on Spruce Street, too. Any, any other comments from the public? Yes. So if you are effectively taking Kate away from any operational. I can't talk about it. Well, we need to talk about it because Kate then has been approved. we have to go back into non-public. Well, we probably should because we're going to be running into potential violations if we're not going to have the coverage needed, and that needs to be I, discussed. I, we, we can't even respond. Perhaps we should set another time, and you can speak with one commissioner, and we can discuss it. I would suggest that be tomorrow, as soon as possible. Okay. Or right after this meeting. Um, okay. You want to talk? Okay, I'll do it. You go down there tomorrow, anyhow, right? No, Monday. Okay. You're going down tomorrow. Yeah. Do you want to handle it? Sure. We can talk about it tomorrow when you're there, Clem. That's fine. Okay, you, you don't mind if I record it so they can hear it? I have no problem. Okay. Uh, uh, I have no problem if you record it. Okay. So, you know, so, because my memory, you know. What? <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> what? Where am I? Why, well, why don't you just do it right now? Wouldn't it make more sense if you're... We off? have to go in and Well, why can't you? Because technically it is not scheduled. Well, didn't you throw the we May thing up. in this? It was not We've the been agenda. beaten up by the school Well, I could make my comments, and, and you guys could take notes and then discuss it, discuss it after, or, or each just, you know, think about it. And okay, okay. Here, here it is. If you want to tell us something, yeah. you I'll can just make the comments so that you we understand what respond. we're running up against. And you don't have to respond, but you'll have the information. Okay, go ahead. So, the floor is yours. Uh, due to our staffing issues, which we're all aware of, I have asked Kate to help with operational roles, and she's done a fantastic job for us doing that. 
with that said, we have an open position, and I have recommended considering Kate for the full-time position as an operator. And I'm going to make that plea again that we consider that. You've made the comment, Byrne, that the pool is very thin for operators. And you know it as well. I do. And we've got talent right now that could step into position without any learning curve because she's been willing to learn on the fly for the last year and a half since she's been employed with us. If Kate's not involved in our operational role right now, she's helping cover weekends, she's helping run labs to, to and from Sumsworth. Um, she's, she's the missing link right now that's allowing us to keep our head above water. Without Kate involved, we're going to have we're going to run into staffing issues for weekend coverage which is mandated we're going to run into a lot of issues uh, i'm currently in the process of trying to finish up the pump galley which i would hope is considered to be a priority right now if i don't have the support from kate in the role to do what she's been doing i am not effectively going to be able to complete everything so we have hours allotted not only for a full-time position that's been eliminated or she decided to move on but we also have a part-time position that is approved for Rob Roselli who hasn't had a lot of time available because of his other position with the fire department that he's currently uh, working for so we've got plenty of uh, money available in our budget for um, work hours so I don't understand what the position would be to ask Kate to not help perform that role other than just going out of our way to make it overly complicated I know you can't comment I just you guys get the information but we need another body and we've got somebody that's able capable and willing to do it so again, I'm going to ask the board to consider hiring Kate as our full-time operator. And we can consider or figure out, the board can, what we do with the clerk's position. If we hire Kate as a full-time operator, she's going to be on our staff, and she'll be able to help cross-train whoever comes in in that position. So again, we need the body. We have somebody willing to do it. She's proven to be reliable. She understands the job. And she wants to do it. You know, I, you guys can make a decision on hiring somebody. You've taken that ability away from me. If I had the ability, Kate would already be hired. We hear you. Your concerns are noted. Uh, your so with Kate taken out of the lineup right now, there's, there's multiple issues that are going to come up. She's in weekend rotation. Her next weekend is three weeks away. If she's not here to cover it, that's going to be a violation. I'm on vacation next week. We've got a very complicated sampling schedule with Summersworth that Kate understands and is able to, to help process. If I'm not here, then Tom can't do everything by himself. So we're going to run into some major issues next week. And, it, you know, to, to make this move at the 11th hour again doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, knowing that Kate's been providing the support we need at a much reduced rate than what we were paying and should be paying her as an operator. Okay, we hear you. That's what I got. So, we hear you. And I would like to have some sort of response from the, from the board as soon as possible. Well, the board would have to meet again to frame a response. Well, and then I would suggest an emergency meeting because we're going to end up in violation <laughs> very quickly. Well, emergency meetings are by law as I would say violations to our water and sewer permit would justify an emergency meeting let us 
let us do some investigating of options. Um, Can I ask, because this isn't anything to do with the topic of removing her from this position, can I ask the board why we wouldn't consider hiring her? With the fact that I'm telling you and giving you the report that she is the person, the candidate for this job. Person. Hiring people is a confidential action. We can't discuss it in public. That's absolutely verboten. Would you consider hiring her? I can't, I can't even say that. Fern. Look, as the, the, as the chair right. of, the, of the board that I am the superintendent for, for a community that I hold licensing for both the water and sewer, we, would, we should be able to have a discussion on the person that we want to fill a vacant position for. I understand what you're saying. I hear your recommendations, which is about all we can do at this point without having a meeting. And it's not on the agenda. We can't expand to a, an emergency meeting is not something that's easily justified by law. Emergency has got to be a emergency. Um, how, hold on. Um, we can look at when we would have the next potential meeting of the commissioners. And that would be Wednesday, January 8th. 8th? because I don't believe the Budget Committee is going to meet again until the 11th, which is a Saturday. And then meet again on the 22nd. Can you do those two dates? Can you do those two dates? And the 22nd? Yes. I figured, let's schedule both. And that's a Wednesday also? Yes. And to hell with the budget committee. I didn't say that out loud, did I? It's not a hammer. The only thing I can tell you is that we will do our level best to accommodate the needs that you have expressed. Okay, and I just... I so that we're transparent. It's my responsibility to not only look out for the welfare of the district, but it's also my responsibility to report this to the state. So I am going to send an email tomorrow and let them know that the support that we've had that's allowed us to get by to this point has been taken away. And I'm going to ask for direction from the state on how to proceed. As I recall, You might consider whether or not your need is unusual, compelling, and urgent, and put it in writing. It is. All of the above. Da -da, for a specific number of hours and for a specific time frame. We're not going to make a blank. We would never make a blanket approval. I understand that. Before we even get into talking about that, I would ask that you consider hiring Kate. We don't have to worry about a blank approval. We need an operator. I've, I've given you the option that is available to you. A very at viable this, option. At this I, moment in time. A very viable option. Go ahead, call the state. I'm not saying I'm, I'm not... If the I, state would like to provide us with operators, go ahead. If we can't find them, and they can, wonderful. Vernon, but we, have we have somebody that can do the job. She's not licensed. She's going for her test in the next two weeks for her grade one. She's enrolled in the program. She's taken the initiative to do this, the, the studying on her own. She's taken the initiative and spent her own money to get the training. She hasn't asked for any reimbursement for that. She's going for the test out of her own pocket. She hasn't asked for any reimbursement for that because she's trying to get her license so that you'll consider her. Okay. I've told you that there are provisions in the process with, that are urgent, compelling, and necessary for specified period of time for specified number of hours. I'm just speaking abstractly. I understand. Not specific. And that option is available to you. I will send you the board an email tonight. Okay. 
Okay, you do that. Fix them. I think that matter is pretty much taken care of. Now, can will there be a response prior to the next meeting, or am I going to well, be waiting until no, it's, it's got to be. It's got to be from the board as a whole, and we can't have meetings by email. So it's okay. got to be. We will probably consider it individually, but then we'll have to have a meeting in order to make a decision and a recommendation. So do you have any recommendations on how to handle next week and how to handle the Kate's next weekend coverage? We don't we don't have the authority to direct you as the state has clearly told us on operational issues. We can't tell you what to do. We can only give you broad guidelines. There's, I, I'm sorry, you're not going to get a solution tonight. That's not going to happen. Okay. Our next formal meeting will be the 8th and the 22nd of January. Okay? Do I hear a motion to adjourn? Second. No, no. Do I hear a motion to adjourn? Yes. So there, there's been no consideration to a, an emergency meeting. Is that what I'm understanding? That isn't what we said. That is clearly not what we said. Well, um, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Thank you, if there's a need for an emergency meeting that we find, and our, we will consult with our legal counsel as to what constitutes a, an emergency meeting, and he agrees and concurs that it's an emergency, warning a non-noticed meeting, we will proceed. Okay. In fact, we will probably forward your email to him okay to see if it warrants an emergency you know. meeting, okay? okay? Yep. You made a motion to adjourn? Yes. I seconded it. I Aye. We are adjourned. It's nice to have two cameras.